Hello and welcome. I'm Jeremy Searle and I believe this has been a day for celebration for all Montrealers since Montreal's erstwhile mayor, Gilles Tremblay, the do-nothing figurehead down at City Hall, has finally capitulated on his absurd plan to rename Montreal's Avenue du Parc in favour of Jean Tremblay's ex-political mentor from his provincial government days, that is Robert Bourassa. I think uh, everybody agrees that it would be a fine thing to commemorate the memory, the legacy of Robert Bourassa, but certainly nobody was on board with Mayor Tremblay and his plan to uh, dump a very popular, well-loved street name in Montreal and to autocratically, unilaterally make a change of this sort. And I'd like to give full credit to the people who made this great step for democracy in Montreal possible. Four young people, Alison and Rebecca Lauder and Mario and Giancarlo Rizzi, two young men, also from the Plateau, who got together, who made the campaign, who did the door-to-door, -door, who organized the march, who gave the merchants the the, the, the the confidence to join in the campaign, who gave the confidence to others, the big names to come in later, who did the slog, who for instance came up with this lovely door-to-door -door flyer, city logo and Helen, c'est fini, directed at Helen Fotopoulos of course, which uh, went door-to-door, -door, direct democracy, pointing out to people that if Helen Fotopoulos would continue her support for the the mayor's unilateral position that she could be made to suffer at the next election. Within two or three days, Helen Fotopoulos backed down and came on board on the against side. I don't know if you've all seen this. This was a very nice little touch, a, st a sticker. Avenue du Parc, je me souviens. And another one just before Christmas, I believe. A little more city logo here. And Gérald, c'est à tantôt. They correctly identified the fact that this was a political fight, straightforward knockdown fight, and they went for it and they won. A great step forward for democracy in Montreal and perhaps the beginning of the end for Montreal's do-nothing Gerald Tremblay because after all he's now created a situation where his party members Helen Fotopoulos, Michel Prescott and the other one on the plateau are now in a very dangerous situation in the next election and may well be forced to become the, 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 the central rallying point for the opposition to Gérald Tremblay in the next election if they want to survive. Whoever wins the next election, it's always important to have strong opposition. A great day for Montreal's participatory democracy and a well-deserved bad day for Montreal's do nothing there, Gérald Tremblay. Once again, a round of applause for the good guys and a well-deserved hoot for the bad guys. Thank you for participating today and good day to you. We want a proactive solution to the situation. Hopefully some sort of change will come about sooner rather than later, but won't be surprised if it comes around later. However, we are completely prepared to take it on for as long as it takes. It may take a while, but that's what you gotta do, right? Very well said, exactly, that's what we're going to aim to do, I mean, we just got to keep protesting until until Trombley listens or somebody has to listen. Uh, it can't continue like this. If he was allowed to change his name, it would set an incredibly bad precedent. Then he would be allowed to do whatever he, really he wants. I mean, to just wake up one morning and decide to change a name, what is he going to do next? Hello? Yes. He's not home yet? No. Uh, no, he didn't. I don't know where he is. The mayor caved in on Park Avenue this afternoon. Yeah. Oh, it's fabulous. I'm just doing my website piece for tomorrow. See you later. Bye.